and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to make this flying butterfly. So if you would like to make this craft, please continue watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more of these crafts. So let's get creative, shall we? For this craft, we need butterfly pattern to make cutting easier. Please see the link in the description below. Craft card, A4 paper, glass paper, blade and a cutting mat, string, glue, adhesive tape, a pencil, paint, an old pen, and a pointed edge of scissors. A pair of googly eyes and a pair of scissors. Let's get started! Using the pattern, I made cutouts of the butterfly parts. The markings on each side of the wing will be used later. Trace one side of the wing on the craft card and take another craft card to trace the other side of the wing which is the side one and the side two. Trace the body three times as we need three pieces of these. And trace the pair of antennae. Then cut out all the traced parts. Using the blade and a cutting mat, carefully cut out the teardrop shapes from the wings. Take the glass paper and the two teardrop cutouts. Cut around the shape, leaving at least half an inch extra around it. three body cutouts and stick them together to make the flappy wings work. We need the center body to be heavier than the wings. Now it's time to add some colors to the butterfly. Take the two wings and align them together using a cutting mat and an old pen or any pointed object. Make a hole on each corner. We need to make sure that both wings have their holes aligned together. Next, take the butterfly's body and trace the hole from the wings. Poke a hole one centimeter from the head. Add 
glue and insert the antennae in the gap. Then stick the googly eyes. Then use the paint or a marker for the mouth. And then let's stick the glass paper on the wings. Then take the paper cut out and follow the tiny slit on each side of the wings. Make sure that the slits are all aligned together. Now arrange the parts like this, with the body in the middle, one wing at the bottom, and one wing on top. And with the holes all aligned to each other. Cut about 12 inches of string and insert it starting underneath the bottom wing or number 1. and then insert the string following the number sequence. Flap the wing over and tie a knot to secure the string. Make sure that it's not too tight and not too loose. a stick to hold our butterfly. Get the A4 paper and roll it on a flat surface. Then add some glue in it. Now take two pieces of 30 inches length of string. the ends of each string and make sure that they have the same equal length. Next, hold and place the string underneath the wing. Insert the string within the slits on both sides. Pull the strings up to check if the wings are working. Then finally, use a tape to secure the string on each side of the stick. You can now test it out and hang your butterfly. And now, 
you can hang your flying butterfly and watch it flap its wings. I hope you enjoyed making this craft with us today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.